We're down here with the 318 Magnum that we plan on using for the Change and Challenge Duster project. We got some parts that we'd like to show you that hopefully will be part of our plan moving forward. So we can, we can go take a look at that now. One of a very critical piece to our plan is the camshaft, right? Most are gonna agree with that. We're using this cam, to be honest, it's because we, well, we already had it. That, that makes sense. But besides already having it, it actually is a good fit for what we're trying to do. I got a cam card here I printed off. And basically this cam is meant for a uh, 360 Magnum in a tow vehicle to add a lot of mid-range off idle. Um, the RPM they suggest is idle or basically a thousand RPMs to 5,000. It's a 480 lift cam. Um, duration at 50 would be 212 and 218 on the exhaust. Uh, it's got a lobe separation of 114. Um, the center line is 110. So in a 318, I've read some reviews and they say that in a 318, it acts like a, like a mild street cam. Um, gives you a, some, uh, you know, a little bit of a, 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 a lopey idle, should we say. Um, it's got the part number on the end, you're probably not going to be able to read that, but the part number is 20-745-9 comp cams roller. It'll work with the factory rollers that the engine has in it. And uh, uh, if you want to know where I got this cam, I'll show you. In case you were wondering where we got that cam, it was in this van when we bought it. If you remember, we had some issues with that when we first bought that. In the process of fixing those issues, one of the things I did is put a factory 89 360 roller cam inside here with the long snout on it for a mechanical fuel pump. So that's where I got that competition cam. But it's about what we were looking to add to it. That's about what we were looking to, to put into the 318 is what I'm trying to say. I also got a box here from Hughes Performance. One of the things I bought from them is this short cam snout mechanical fuel pump adapter thingy so you can run a fuel pump eccentric. And virtually it's easier for me just to show you this. And that cam being made for a, a, a Magnum, a 360 Magnum, they got obviously multi-port injection. Um, so we basically are going to use a mechanical fuel pump, but it's got the short snout. I can't put the centric on, so this is just an extension to that. So that's only like $25 or $30, and the part number is 7013. And just in case somebody's joining us and uh, they wonder, what, what's this change in challenge duster? It's just this 74 duster that we've been working on and all of its faded glory. And uh, we, we already did some things to it that we wanted to do, like widen the rear end stance and carpet and did something with the front seat. We got a nice playlist on all of it if you want to check that out. But the last thing was is the, you know, we're going to put together another 318 for it. The other thing I bought is the entire spring kit. This is the exact same spring kit I used on drag truck. It comes with the keepers, brand new keepers, the retainers, which are built for this project, and the valve springs with the damper inside. Hughes guarantees that you can use this on stock Magnum heads. You just bolt them right on without any machining. 
and you can run 550 lift without coil buying or having your retainer smack your valve guides. We weren't, we're not going to be anywhere close to 550. Our camshaft has 480, so we should be in the clear on what we're using. This is a good valve spring to use with that cam. I think the the valve springs, this valve spring is actually, uh, it's the, the 1110 valve spring number. But if you buy the kit, you get the retainers in there, which are 1278, and the keepers, which are 1307. And all of it together works together, just like you would hope it would. We've had good luck with it on our 360 and drag truck. We're gonna give it a try with the 318 and with this cam. This cam is just a little bit um, less aggressive than the one in drag truck, but in a 318, it'll, it should probably pull strong to 5,500 RPM. That's probably all I'll need to turn this motor. Um, remember, without headers, I can't be aiming for 7,000 RPMs. But just remember, our goal is to run 13 nines in the quarter mile um, with 294 gears, a stock torque converter, and these manifolds is uh, stock exhaust manifolds. And we're shooting for 20 miles per gallon. I don't know that we'll get there. We might run a 1460 and get 17 miles per gallon, for all I know. But we're going to find out. So stick around if this interests you. We'll see where it leads. We're going to build that engine over the winter. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what the mild 318 we're putting together does for us. It'll be interesting. Should be fun too. That's the whole purpose of it is fun. We thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Till next time.